everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 1st of march 2022 starting with very first question which space mission or satellite of isro has detected the solar proton events for the very first time so chandrayaan 2 orbiter has detected the solar proton events via its large area soft x-ray spectrometer class okay so the proton events are said to increase the radiation exposure to humans in space and earlier the instrument also recorded coronal mass ejections which is a stream of ionized material and magnetic fields that leads to geomagnetic storm okay now in the previous lecture we have seen that india's largest 4g mobile broadband and digital service provider reliance jio infocom limited will land the next generation multi terabit iax that is india asia express undersea cable system in maldives and this high capacity and high speed iax system will connect maldives directly with world's major internet hubs in india and singapore fine so talking about maldives capital is male currency is rufia and currently president is ibrahim mohammed saleh then ibm that is international business machines group has launched a cyber security hub in bangalore to address the concerns of its clients across the asia pacific region so this multi million dollars ibm security command center will be located at the ibm office in bangalore and it is the first of its kind facility in this particular region also indian mining major vedanta has tied up with taiwanese electronics manufacturing company named as hon hai technology group why to form a joint venture for manufacturing the semiconductors in india so do remember that mr anil agarwal who is the non executive chairman of vedanta will be the chairman of this joint venture company fine also recently india has unveiled new green hydrogen policy and it aims to boost the green hydrogen and green ammonia so any new renewable energy facility that is built to produce power for green hydrogen generation before july 2025 will receive 25 years of free power transmission under this new policy and this move is projected to make the green hydrogen production more cost effective for the users of hydrogen and ammonia such as fertilizer and oil refinery industry okay question number 2 national institute of urban affairs signed memorandum of understanding with which institution to collaborate on sustainable cities india program so the world economic forum and the national institute of urban affairs signed a memorandum of understanding to collaborate on a sustainable cities india program and it is a jointly designed project which aims to create an enabling environment for the cities to generate decarbonization solutions across energy transport and the built environment sectors okay so they will adapt the world economic forums city sprint process and toolbox of solutions for decarbonization okay now apart from it the union ministry of rural development has developed an ombudsperson application for mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act scheme 
and aim is to enhance the transparency in reporting and categorization of grievances. So this application would collate the grievances received from various sources like physical, digital and mass media related to the scheme's implementation. And the app was released by the Union Minister Giriraj Singh and it is seen as an important step in e-governance. Okay. Then apart from it, Moody's Investor Service has revised India's GDP growth forecast from 7.9% to 8.4% for the financial year 2022 to 23. So Moody has estimated India's growth to be stronger than expected which is supported by monetary policy as well as budget. But the rating has cautioned that high oil prices and supply distortions would act as a drag to the growth of India as well. Okay. Now the Union Health Ministry has launched the ICMR DHR policy on biomedical innovation and entrepreneurship for the medical professionals, scientists and technologists in the India. So this policy seeks to have an innovation led entrepreneur ecosystem in India and as per the policy doctors can pursue entrepreneurial ventures by way of startup companies and assume the roles of adjunct positions like non-executive director or scientific advisor in the companies okay so simply you have to remember that which ministry has launched the policy on biomedical innovation and entrepreneurship answer is union health ministry fine question number three which country's rover has spotted two glass spheres on the far side of the moon so china's u22 rover has recently spotted two strange glass spheres on the far side of the moon and the lunar spherules are the first of their kind to be found on the lunar surface and as per the researchers they are formed fairly recently actually though glass has been spotted on the moon before by both the u22 rover and nasa's apollo 16 mission but this is the very first side of that glass sphere okay so answer is china so talking about china the closing ceremony of 2022 beijing winter olympics was held recently on 20th of february 2022 at the national stadium in bird's nest in beijing okay now let's talk some of the important things regarding beijing winter olympics first of all the host was obviously china and the game featured a record 109 events across 15 disciplines in total 7 sports and the presidency of the game was formally handed over to Milan and Cortina di Ampezzo in Italy to host the 2026 Winter Olympics. Okay, so you have to remember who's the host for the 2026 Winter Olympic Games. Now talking about the medal tally, Norway has topped the medal table for second consecutive Winter Olympics and in total it has won 37 medals out of which 16 were gold. Okay. Then at second place it was Germany with total 27 medals and third place was occupied by the host itself that is China with total 15 medals. Okay. Do remember that this 16 is a new record for the most amount of gold medals that has been won at a single winter olympics okay unfortunately india could not win any of the medal in this particular game can you tell me who was the only volunteer from india to this beijing winter olympics can you name him please let me know in the comments oil giants have signed an agreement to build a huge oil pipeline in the lake albert of uganda and the companies are investing nearly 10 billion dollars in this mega project and after completion this pipeline will become the longest pipeline in the world and it will pass through tanzania as well so according to imf reserves in this country are the fourth largest in the sub-saharan region and first three are nigeria angola and south sudan so companies are to exploit obviously the oil resources of this country and this has fumed the environmentalist as they do not want to let it happen okay can you tell me which countries have participated in the sea dragon 22 exercise that was held in the month of january 
प्लीज आंसर मी इन द कॉमेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर विच सिटी इज द होस्ट ऑफ सीनियर नेशनल चेस चैंपियनशिप ट्वेंटी सो ऑल इंडिया चेस फेडरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेस द फिफ्टी Senior National Chess Championship 2022 at Kanpur, and it is participated by 184 players, including 23 grandmasters and 30 international masters in this field. So it will be a selection platform for the Indian squad for the Chess Olympiad and Asian Games. And the seventh National Women Chess Championship 2022 is held at Bhubaneswar. Now apart from it. Archaeological Survey of India of Ministry of Culture Government of India is organizing an international conference named as Dev Yatnam and Odissi of Indian Temple Architecture at Hampi in the state of Karnataka so the union minister for culture G Kishan Reddy inaugurated the conference and it aims to highlight the philosophical religious social economic technical scientific art and architectural aspects of temple and also it aims to deliberate upon the evolution of various styles of temple architecture okay so you can be asked that what is the venue of devayatnam which is an odissi of indian temple architecture conference answer is hampi in the state of karnataka now the 17th edition of mumbai international film festival for documentary short fiction and animation films is scheduled to take place from 29th of May to 4th of June 2022 and the best documentary of the festival will receive a golden conch and 10 lakh rupees in a cash award okay so do remember that mumbai international film festival is to take place soon okay now kanchot is annually celebrated by the nag followers across the chenab valley region of jammu kashmir and who's the lieutenant governor of jammu kashmir manoj sinha Also recently municipalities of Indore and Dhaka North held a virtual dialogue for sharing the best practices in solid waste management and during the webinar waste collection methods were shared by Indore Municipal Corporation also they shared best innovative practices and technology adopted for efficient waste management do remember that Indore was ranked as the cleanest city of India for the fifth time in Cleanliness Survey 2021. Also, Ministry of Culture has organized a global summit on reimagining the museums in India, and this summit will focus to develop museums in India. Okay. Question number five: International Air Transport Association partnered with which institution to launch IATA Pay platform in India? So, International Air Transport Association has partnered with the global banking group Standard Chartered. to launch a payment platform for airline industry in india and in addition to existing payment options such as credit card iata pay will be a new payment option that enables the participating airlines to offer instant payment option such as upi scan and pay and upi collect fine the prime minister narendra modi chaired a meeting of the cabinet committee on security after russia launched its attack on ukraine and also he spoke with russian president vladimir putin and called for an immediate cessation of violence okay and talking about the cabinet committee on security it is chaired by prime minister and also it includes the defense minister home minister and the external affairs minister now earlier we have seen that the karnataka bank has backed three awards at the 17th annual banking technology conference so which were these three categories first is best technical bank of the year then second is best fintech adoption and the third is best use of artificial intelligence and data analytics now also we have seen that reserve bank of india has recently cancelled the license of independence cooperative bank limited nashik maharashtra and reason was that bank does not have adequate capital and earning prospect that means that it does not comply with the provisions of section 56 of banking regulation act 1949 and also rbi has imposed several restrictions on indian mercantile cooperative bank limited lucknow 
including a cap of 1 lakh rupees on withdrawal. So now bank will not without its prior approval grant or renew any loans and advances or make any investment and the restrictions would remain in force for total 6 months and are subjected to review further. Okay. Question number 6. Rakesh Sharma has been appointed as the MD and CEO of which bank? So IDBI Bank announced that its board has approved the reappointment of Rakesh Sharma as the MD and Chief Executive Officer of the bank for a period of 3 years. And this reappointment has been approved by the banking regulator Reserve Bank of India and he was initially appointed as the MD of the bank in October 2018. And prior to that, Rakesh Sharma was MD and CEO of Kendra Bank. Okay. Now, Krishi Network application has named Pankaj Tripathi as its brand ambassador. Shah Rukh Khan has been named as brand ambassador of the gaming application A23 under a campaign named as Chalo Saat Khele. Okay. Then, BJP MP and Bhojpuri singer Manoj Tiwari will be the brand ambassador of Khadi and other handicrafts of Bihar. Then IS officer Vineet Joshi will be the new chairman of CBSC, Central Board of Secondary Education. Then Geeta Mittal has been appointed as chairperson of committee of administrators to run TTFI that is Table Tennis Federation of India. After that, Devashish Mitra takes over as the president of ICAI. Then, Santi Shri Dhuli Pudi Pandit has become the first woman vice chancellor of JNU. And Professor Dinesh Prasad Saklani has become the new director of NCRT. Okay? You have to tell me, government has appointed which former civil servant as the chairperson of insolvency and bankruptcy board of india please let me know in the comments question number seven sparsh is an initiative of which union ministry so first of all what does sparsh stands for system for pension administration raksha okay so this is an initiative of defense ministry and it aims for efficiency and transparency in pension administration okay so recently what happened is Defense Ministry has signed a memorandum of understanding to onboard pension services under the Sparsh initiative across over 4 lakh common service centers and this MOU will provide connectivity to the pensioners especially to those who reside in the remote areas of the country. Okay. Now apart from it Oceans 2022 is a biannual event for global marine researchers technologists and engineers which was organized jointly in Chennai by IIT Madras and National Institute of Ocean Technology and it was held from 21st of February to 24th of February 2022. So it included technical sessions, invited sessions on specialized topics along with outreach and media programs. Okay. Now apart from it, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has addressed the high level segment of one ocean summit which was also addressed by several other heads of states and governments including germany uk south korea japan and canada so this one ocean summit is organized by france in brest in cooperation with united nations and world bank and objective was to mobilize the international community to take tangible action towards preserving and supporting healthy and sustainable ocean ecosystem okay now apart from it recently niti ayog in collaboration with phone pay has organized a three week long virtual summit named as fintech open from 7th to 28th of february 2022 and this summit was inaugurated by union minister for railways communications and electronics it mr ashwini vashna in the presence of Niti Aayog, Vice Chairman, Vice Chairman Rajiv Kumar. And what was the theme for this event? Theme was open. Okay. Question number eight. Which country has authorized the world's first plant-derived COVID vaccine? So the government of Canada, 
became the first to authorize the use of plant based covid 19 vaccine and this vaccine has been developed by medicago and it is a two dose vaccine which can be administered to adults of ages 18 to 64 so this approval was made after a research study of the vaccine on 24000 adults wherein the vaccine candidate was found to be 71% effective in preventing the covid 19 okay so do remember that austria is the first european country to introduce a covid 19 vaccine mandate and now as per the law it is compulsory for the adults to vaccinate against covid 19 and everyone in the country must have an active vaccination by march 15 2022 so talking about canada recently canada has officially banned the conversion therapy and with this it has joined a selected list of countries that discontinued the treatment that claims to be able to change a person's sexual orientation or gender identity okay so the other countries that have earlier banned it are brazil ecuador germany and malta okay do you remember the country senegal has defeated egypt on the africa cup of nations championship and this event was held in cameroon okay now you have to tell me which country has recently won the afc women's asia cup india 2022 finals title question number 9 the government of which state or union territory has approved a new film policy for 2022 so the government of delhi has approved a new film policy 2022 which aims to promote delhi as a hub for filming and other related activities so this policy provides for setting up of 50 crore rupees delhi film fund to support the producers and host international film festival and the policy also seeks a subsidy of up to 3 crore rupees to the film industry so talking about delhi recently delhi high court has appointed former chief justice of jammu kashmir high court Geeta Mittal as the chairperson of the committee of administrators which will run the TTFI we have covered this news in the previous question i think okay then ilkar aiki is the new ceo and md of air india and he will assume his responsibilities before 1st of april 2022 then n chandra sekaran has been reappointed as chairman of tata sons after that munishwar nath bhandari has become the new chief justice of madras high court now indian youtuber and content creator prajakta kohli has been appointed as india's first united nations development program youth climate ambassador then former japanese prime minister shinzo abe has been conferred with netaji award 2022 by netaji research bureau you have to tell me who has been named as the winner of icc spirit of the cricket award 2021 please let me know in the comments now coming to last question what is india's rank in the international intellectual property index released by us chambers of commerce so the us chambers of commerce has recently released the international intellectual property index for 2022 in which out of 55 countries india has been ranked at 43 and india's overall ip score has improved from 38.4% to 38.6% so do remember that usa has topped the list with a score of 95.48% and then it was followed by uk and germany at second and third places respectively now as per the tom tom traffic index rankings 2021 Mumbai was at the 5th place Bangalore was at 10th Delhi was 11th Pune was 21st in terms of most congested cities in the world okay do remember that Istanbul Turkey has been declared as the most congested city in the whole world okay at second place it was Moscow now apart from it in accordance with Bloomberg billionaires index Gautam Adani net worth has reached to 88.5 billion dollars and he has overtaken Mukesh Ambani who has net worth of 87.9 billion dollars and now Gautam Adani became the Asia's richest person okay 
Now, who is the world's richest person? It is Elon Musk. And he has a net worth of $235 billion. Now, let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenuzad Sana signing off.